Welcome back to Bernat.com. Today we're going to be learning the purl stitch. The purl stitch is a really easy stitch and it's one of the fundamental stitches of knitting. Once you've learned how to make the purl stitch, you're going to be on your way to making tons of fabulous items. Before we get started, we want to gather up some supplies. So the supplies that you're going to need is a ball of yarn and a pair of corresponding knitting needles. Today I'm using Bernat Super Value. If you look here at the yarn label, or what's called the ball bands, you'll see that this yarn recommends that I use a pair of US number 8 or 5 millimeter needles. So that's what I'm going to use today. You can also see on the label that the Bernat Super Value is a worsted weight yarn. Worsted weight yarn falls roughly in the middle of the yarn thicknesses, so there's, it's about halfway between thick and thin. It's a good choice to practice with. You can definitely pick a thicker yarn such as Bernat Softy Chunky, but I wouldn't go with a thinner yarn until you've had a bit of practice. You don't want to frustrate yourself. Also, even though it's really tempting, you're going to want to stay away from those really fancy yarns that aren't smooth. You don't want to frustrate yourself. You want to be able to see your stitches and see your tension. Now that we've gathered up our supplies, we're ready to get started. On my needles, I have 10 cast-on stitches, and what we're going to be making today is called the stocking stitch. It's a combination of the knit stitch and the purl stitch. If you're not sure how to make the knit stitch or how to cast on, we do have online video tutorials which will take you through that step by step. So today we're going to learn the purl stitch. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to make our first purl stitch. I want you to have the needle with your work on it in your left hand and your empty needle in your right. And this time we want to start with our needle on the right side of this first stitch right here. We want to have our needle on the right. When we make our knit stitch, we start with our needle on this side. So we're going to start here and we're going to slip our needle into this first stitch. And when we make our X with our needles, we want this right needle to be on the top of the X. The next thing that we need to do is we want to take our working yarn, so the yarn that's attached to the ball, and we want to wrap it around this needle here, your right needle. So I'm going to sort of show you here, and you're going to wrap it around, around the back to the front. And that's a counterclockwise movement. So here, let me show that to you again. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn, you're going to go to the back, around your needle, and to the front. Then what you need to do is you take that wrapped yarn and pull a loop through to the back. And you can kind of see there I have it. And what we want to do is we want to slip that stitch off your left needle. And that's your first purl stitch right there on your right needle. So let's do that again. So we want to have our needle on the right, and we want to go through that first loop, and we want to have that right needle on the top of our X. We're now going to take our yarn, and we're going to wrap it around. So we're going to wrap it from the front, around to the back, and over like that. And we're going to pull a loop through with our right needle through to the back. And then we want to slip that needle, that loop off your left needle there. So here we go again. Take our needle on the right, place it through the loop. We're going to wrap our yarn around. So we have that, and we're going to pull that loop through to the back, and we're going to slip off your left needle. So one more time. I'm going to wrap it around. And then we slip off. Wrap around and pull to the back and slip off. 
Now you want to keep doing that to the end of your row and you treat your last stitch the same as you treated all the stitches we've done and that's how you purl. Now because we're working on the stocking stitch, the next row that you're going to make is going to be a knit row. So you're going to go across this row and knit each one of these stitches. And what you're going to get is an effect like this. This is what is called the stocking stitch. It's nice and even and you can see it's the stitch that you normally see when you see knit garments. Once you're comfortable with the purl stitch, you're going to want to come back and visit us on our website and learn some more stitches. So that's it for today. Good job. I'm so proud of you for doing this. And I hope to see you again at Bernat.com.